G'day, I'm Clive and welcome to CDP Outdoors. Today what I'm looking at is the sword hoodie uh, mid-layer jacket and the material is very similar in feels to the uh, the soft shells where the difference is the soft shell ones have got a waterproof coating on I believe where this one with my experience after wearing it this week and going out in the rain it does shed water to a degree but after a couple of minutes you start to notice it soaking into the material and on the website they don't say it's waterproof so I wasn't expecting it to be waterproof but I was surprised with how the water did shed off it the reason I got this is each year I attempt to upgrade or well, throughout the year like most people do hiking or bush we do our best to upgrade our gear and our equipment and normally for the winter I wear a Gore-Tex rain jacket and a fleece, not a fleece, sorry, a uh, down jacket underneath for warmth but the down jacket underneath the Gore-Tex rain jacket is a bit tight and it depends what I've eaten and some days the Gore-Tex rain jacket is tight with my stomach without anything underneath so a few videos ago I showed the the, the uh, field light 3.0 from Sword which is the rain anorak and I really do like that I actually wore it with this for a couple of days this week because we're in uh, what date is it? 27th of May so a couple of days ago we had some bad storms come through Western Australia and the rain was to say a tad heavy and it worked really well uh, temperature was cold so with my normal layers and this underneath with the rain on uh, jacket on top I was nice and warm dry now with this one, like I said, the material is similar to their, their soft shell material and on the inside they have a, I'm trying to get some better light, it's like a fleece, so that keeps you really warm. And my normal fleece jackets, when the wind blows like it is now, I can feel the wind coming through and it gives a bit of a chill. Where with this one, I can feel the wind blowing on the back of my neck and coming past me here, and a s slight drop in temperature on my back where the wind's blowing, but there's no chill of the wind coming through. So I am looking forward to using this now. And I've just walked up probably about half a mile up from the highway, you can probably hear it in the background some more black clouds coming over there so the rain will be coming in soon by the looks of it. The cuffs are velcro or hook and loop and you've got good space to get your hand in and out of there. And just grab those up. It's nice and secure so it'll keep a lot of the warmth in and if you're going to be wearing gloves you'll put your gloves underneath if you want and do it a little bit looser to allow the space and just cinch it down on your gloves. Because there's no front zipper to this, it's like an anorak, it comes over your head. So we've got a zip on either side here to help you get your anorak on and off easier and also to get access into any of your pockets. They call these hand warmer pockets. There's no fleece actually in the pockets, but the fleece lining is on the outer side, or outer material. 
so that's going to help keep your hands warm and block the wind getting to your hands so you can I suppose call them hand warmer pockets on the chest here you've got a kangaroo pocket which at the moment I've got a bit of paper in there my USB cards and a cover for my camera where the microphone has gone in spare battery it's big enough for you carry your wallet in there not any snacks or anything so, good large zips on it not waterproof zips now this part here gets me zip up to your neck the quarter zip I think they call it and then you've got your cinch or your line cords or cord locks to cinch your hood up but what I found is whilst I'm wearing my hood and turning my head that zip comes under and so easy so before I go any further I'm going to do a slight modification which I think will work to stop that happening because these being separate it's not going to hold that top together so as I'm turning my head it's still going to come undone okay sorry about this bit I had the voice uh, activation on the camera and when I said um, a couple of words the actual camera stopped recording so I think when I said the cord or cord pull it thought it meant stop recording so like I said I took one of the cord pulls off or the line locks and put it in my pocket here in the kangaroo pocket and I put the actual cord through the second cord pull tied the two power cord by the looks of it together so now you see it's open at the moment I'll show you now where before there was two signal and just gently tug it and you can see that it's coming down slowly now if we do this do this up as a single one together instead of the doubles and when I'm doing that as you can see the zip's not coming undone uh, very is it about four slight uh, teeth but not all the way down like it was before so sword if you're watching this video there's an idea save yourself some money and the uh, cord pulls and just use one and put the cords through them it just holds that together nice the hood again has got a nice fleece lining on it and that's normally a problem when you've got a hat on where it's going to be grabbing and sticking to the hat so that's why I've got this wool on one the wool and the fleece lining very close to the uh, hook and loop so what I'm going to be doing is pulling that tight so now even that's done all the way up and tight around my face it still moves with me so and it's still got to, I'd say the material, it's got some stretch in the material so when it's stretching and the way it's been made it allows for good movement one other, other thing I think they could probably do is down at the bottom here along the hem there's no cord pulls so that is a potential draft area even if they just put the one in the front where you could just pull the front together just in what well, a couple of inches two three inches and it's closed the back up so it's going to reduce the draft so the cord that we say from here put it down in here or say the cord uh, pull put it down here with another bit of cord to just cinch it up and hold that together and that will stop most of the drafts Let's see how it works out over the next few weeks because I'm hoping to do uh, four, four days, yeah, five, no, four, four or five days out in the bush walking from North Bannister to a town called Dwelling Up. And I may end up stopping over an extra night. So we'll, we'll see, and we'll see how this goes. So I hope you've enjoyed the video, and if you have, and this is the first video of mine you've uh, seen please go down below and click on the subscribe button and click on the notification bell next to that so you can be notified of all future videos and hit the like button too because every single like 
it goes to helping my channel uh, grow. If you are already a subscriber, again, I thank you very much. So until next time, get out there, have some fun, and take care.